So I'd like to introduce you to someone. This is my little buddy. This is Hitchcock. Come here, Hitch. Come here. Oh, he's heavy. He's a big boy. This is Hitchcock. He is not amused. Not amused. Wait to the camera hitch. <laughs> ah, I love that boy. He makes a lot of noise. Give me owls all day. Welcome. So long time no see. I've not made a video in probably three to four months. There's a reason, but don't worry. I will not bore you with those details. So I want to get back and make some movie reviews, but um, those take a lot of work and a lot of time. Um, so I'm going to ease into it with something a little more simple. And since I have like, I don't know, no viewers, I don't think anybody's really going to care. So. I thought I would start with a collection video. Yeah, one of those. Um, not my favorite um, t to make or watch from anyone, but they're they're pretty quick. They're simple, and I actually I'm gonna make a collection video that I've not really seen much on the on the YouTube. So this is something a little different. If you look behind me. You'll see that poster in the background. It's the final terror. So I collect uh, horror posters, original horror posters. And I wanted to kind of make a little collection video of them. And I'm going to do my folded posters. They come in folded and rolled. I'm just going to do my folded because they're uh, a lot more simple to film. And the movie behind me is the final terror. It's a good movie. You should check it out. So I'm not going to get into the uh, condition of the posters, how much I paid for it, where I got them. I'm just going to show the posters. And if you want to know anything additional, then shoot me a message, uh, a PM if you will. And so, again, I want to emphasize, these are all original, there's no reproductions, they got pinholes, rips, I don't know, stains, a bunch of, bunch of stuff on them. But I like it. It's uh, it's like owning a little piece of history. I think it is. It warms my heart to know that when these movies originally came out, these posters were on the walls of the theaters, and I think that is pretty fantastic. So, this is my horror movie post. My horror. So this is my horror movie collection. Posters. I forgot that part. These are posters. Um. So, th um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. So let's start this off with the bang. First up, we got Alligator. Um, I've actually done a review of this movie. I don't remember exactly what I said about it, but I would assume I was favorable towards it because this is one of my, I don't know if it's one of my favorite movies, but I like it quite a bit. Ironically, the DVD I have has an alternative cover, cover art, but this cover art I think is much superior I like it quite a bit. Alligator. If you haven't seen it, go do so. Audrey Rose, starring Anthony Hopkins, which I believe he is now Sir Anthony Hopkins. Of my posters, this is probably the one that I'm least into. I've, I, 
I've seen the movie. I don't remember a whole lot about it. But what I do like about it is it's got a strong 70s vibe. I like the font on it. And the two girls in the fire next to the tombstone. It's just, it's very 70s, but... All right, and moving on. So, see, we got Awakening. Um, I've not seen this movie. Starring Charlton Heston. That's pretty interesting. Um, but uh, that cover art, uh, that looks amazing. That is art right there. I need to watch that movie. But it looks really good. Okay, moving on, moving on. Bad Dreams. So this is a recent Screen Factory release, I believe. I like the movie good enough, well enough. This poster, I, I don't, I don't really, I'm not really too into it. That is not the best cover. That's not the best poster that I've seen. Um, I don't know, man. It, it doesn't do a whole lot for me. But um, it's a slasher, so I just... If I had an emphasis on collecting, it would be slasher posters. So, Beyond the Door. This is a cool little Italian exorcist ripoff. Pretty cool movie. Um, I was happy to get this poster because Italian posters are a little harder to get <clears throat> in this condition. I mean, this, the condition's perfect. So, I got Beyond the Door too. I've actually not seen this movie, um, but I don't know. I just came across it and it's like, man, I gotta get it. Um, it's also in really good condition, and okay, I mean, if you've never heard of these movies, they're pretty much The Exorcist, but the Italian version. Chopping Mall. So I was ecstatic to come across this. Uh, Chopping Mall has one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. And it also goes by a different title, too. It's called The Killbots. And I got a poster for that, too. But this poster is a little different. There's two versions. One, the little hand's a little different. This, this isn't the one that I think's the coolest. I like the one with the hand. It's got like a gauntlet on better, but I found this. Had to get it. Curtains. Another poster is that it, I'm just curious that I came across it. Um, in my mind, this is just as popular as Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, um, but nobody really seems to talk about this movie at all. And I think that's unfortunate. And this cover, this, this art here, I just think it's really cool and creepy. And I'm surprised that I got it um, in this condition at the price I got it in. Dead and Buried. This is a pretty recent uh, poster that I've uh, gotten. This is kind of a zombie type horror movie. Um, yeah, I mean, I, but that's like I don't really know <laughs> what to say about it. But that art, it looks pretty cool, man. Got that little face coming out of the ground. I remember seeing that as a kid in video stores. And that was the ice dropping from my refrigerator. Dead Heat. This is a buddy cop zombie film. How can you go wrong with that? Um, I was just looking through things and this came up. I, I, I wonder if anyone out there has actually even seen this. Nobody talks about this movie. But I've seen it and I loved it. I think I saw it on Netflix. I, I own it now. When I first saw it, it was on Netflix. And I loved it immediately. So happy to have this. Deadly Blessing. Uh, this is a recent Screen Factory release. An Amish slasher. How could you go wrong with that? And this, the visual here, quite appealing. <laughs> it is a, a very nice... Oh, Deadly Eyes. This is also a recent Screen Factory release. Um, and j just look at that. That is one of the coolest covers I've ever seen. One of the coolest posters. I keep calling them covers. Um, got those eyes. I love creature features. And this is a creature feature. 
So how could you not love a movie with wiener dogs and rat suits? I mean, this is a great Screen Factory does it right. And this poster looks pretty amazing. Death Valley. So this is also a recent Screen Factory release. Um it was it's I've seen it. It's a good movie. I have it. I like it. The poster, uh I don't know. I'm not particularly attached to it, but I don't know, man. I just liked it. I'm just familiar with it, so I pretty much picked it up. The the dorm drip blood. So this goes by an alternate title of pranks, which I have two posters from that of that name, pranks. As a movie, I don't recall a whole lot about it. I know it's a slasher. I watched it and I didn't, I don't recall loving it, but uh, I just, I really want to, I want to collect the slasher posters more than anything. And so I came across this. It was pretty cheap, so I picked it up. The Entity. As far as a poster goes, this is pretty anticlimactic. But as far as a movie goes, it's pretty good. Um, and again, I don't really hear many people talking about it. This is a pretty great uh, ghost movie. Or a paranormal movie. Hear nothing about it, but it's very good. The Evictors. So this is a... Of my posters, this... Visually, this might be one of my favorite. Just that this looks pretty awesome. Um, so a Screen Factory also did a release of this pretty recently. And uh, The Town That Dreaded Sundown is also on that. It's the same director. But part of the poster, this is a great visual. This is the only poster I have that's trifolded as well. So The Fan. I've not seen this movie uh, this is one of the first posters I got before I really knew kind of what I was doing. It looks cool. I don't I don't know anything about this movie. All right, The Final Terror. This is also a recent Screen Factory release. I had this framed and up on my wall. Um, but I, I really don't recall this movie a whole lot. I I won't. I don't think it's a slasher. Oh yeah, actually I actually think it is. It's kind of like a slasher in the woods. It kind of reminded me of Just Before Dawn. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to spoil anything about the movie itself, but as far as the poster, this this looks pretty awesome. The Godsend. So this is also a recent Screen Factory release, but I've not seen it yet. I'm wondering if it's also like a uh, Exorcist kind of ripoff. As far as the poster goes, that looks awesome. Uh, it looks like something that would be like a metal band album. This is a recent purchase that I got. Oh, and of course I had to get the Gremlins. I mean, come on. Um, I'm just amazed that I got this for the price that I got it at. To me, this is like one of the quintessential horror films. I mean, if you can, I guess it's a horror film. Man, it's Joe Dante, which is pretty cool. I didn't realize that. Or I did, but I kind of forgot. Gremlins, Gizmo, I mean, look at the poster. It's pretty awesome. Um, I love the movie, love the poster. Really happy to get this for the price. Happy birthday to me. So, one of the greatest slashers ever made, in my opinion. This is just as good as Halloween, Friday 13th, or it could be even better than those. Uh, this is just a great movie. The poster is great as well. I'm very happy to come across this one. It's in great condition, too. He knows you're alone. So, if, uh, okay, so it's a slasher. If it's the one I think it is, because I'm not too familiar with it, it starts with like the babysitter on the phone, which is pretty much a slasher standard now. Uh, the poster, I don't know, it's not great. The movie, I don't remember it a whole well. I don't know. <laughs> but I came across it, so I bought it. I don't know a whole lot about it. I have it. And look at the hitch just, hitch just ran across the screen. Little bastard. The hearse. 
So, when everyone else was making slasher movies, these people came out and made The Hearse, which is kind of a supernatural movie. And it's pretty good. I liked it quite a bit. So I had I saw this poster. I was like, man, I need to get it. I don't I don't think I paid a whole lot for it. It's in pretty good condition. The hearse. I bet probably hardly anybody's heard of this movie. But I have and I liked it. House. One of my favorite horror films ever. I've also done a review for this as well. Um yeah, so I have nothing to say about it because I've already said it. But as far as the poster goes, this is a good-looking poster. It's one of my favorite. I just wish I had one with a different tagline that said, uh, Ding Dong, You're Dead. Classic. So naturally, I had to get House 2, the second story, which I also like. <clears throat> and I would say I like it pretty much equally as well as the first one. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm not saying this as good as a film, but I, I enjoy it. It's the same. And the poster is like almost identical. Um, so I like this one quite a bit. I'm happy to get it. It's in good condition as well. Humongous. Another slasher. Um, I don't recall a whole lot about it. I just, I do recall when I watched it, I was not particularly impressed with it. But the poster, I think, is pretty cool. I've never seen anything quite like that before. So I uh, came across it, so I got it. And I'm happy that I did. And the Incubus. I, I had this as well, but I'm kind of drawing a blank. I don't remember a whole lot about it. But it's just from a poster standpoint, that looks pretty cool. Um... Uh, yeah, I, I saw it. It's in great condition, so I picked it up. I had the movie. I need to watch that again. Maybe I'll do that tonight. I will watch the Incubus. All right, and so this is that's the uh, this is going to be like a two part video because I have quite a bit. And this is part one. Thanks for watching. He's pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. That's Hitchcock. He makes a lot of noise. Don't you, boy? Yeah. Typical stuff right there.